Shank, are you alright? You look like you're starting to give out. You are correct. I may be strong, but even I have my limits. This is definitely one of your biggest gigs ever, and I'm hauling more music equipment than ever before. I think we're going to need help from someone else. Got any more strong people who can help us? Well, Lynn is away at baseball practice, Laurie is at golf practice, and Lola is practicing for her pageants, so that eliminates three really strong people I know. Wait a minute, I know. I'll ask my brother Lincoln. He's used to helping me around the house. Ha ha ha. You'll never catch me. Think again. Dang it, you got me Lincoln. Look out behind you. Sorry Zach, you missed. Take that. Ha 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 Soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. Wow, you're very good at this, Rusty. Lincoln, will you please pause the game? I need your help right now. Oh, sure thing, Luna. I'd be happy to help you, Zach, Rusty. Please pardon me while I pause the game. Luna needs my help, and I can't say no. Okay Loons, what's the big deal? I'm sure I can handle it. Well, please come to my room and I'll explain. You see, I've got a huge gig tonight. I have to bring a lot of music equipment. I have to bring so much. In fact, that chunk is starting to give out. Since Laurie, Lynn, and Lola are gone right now, I thought I'd ask you for some help. Would you mind hauling the rest of it to Chunk's van? But of course, I'd be happy to help you haul that music equipment. That's great. I'll see you when you have some. Whoa, there are four speakers left, and they look super duper heavy. Wait a minute. I've got an idea. What if I could get them out through the window? The lettuce was ahead, but the tomato was trying to catch up. Ha 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 ha. Get it? Luan, look out. Oh my goodness. Are you okay? I guess that one really fell flat. Ha 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 ha. Get it? But seriously, this thing crushed me very badly. Don't worry, I'll try and help you get out. Please be okay. Ouch. I think maybe I broke something. Let's get you inside so mom and dad can look at you. I hope you're going to be fine. Okay, here's the last one. Thanks for your assistance. I knew you would work out. I'll just put it in the boot now, and then boom. Luna, all of your equipment is loaded. Ready for your gig tonight? Of course dude, it's gonna be the night of our lives. I knew you'd say that. Guys, I'm all finished and ready to continue. Say. Are you ready to get this game going? Yes, of course. I agree with that. Let's play. Alright, then it shall be so. I've got an idea. Let's show them how much they stink. Everybody, grab a tomato and throw it at them. We're getting booed and people are throwing tomatoes at us. And it's no wonder why. One of the speakers is acting totally bogus. I think we need to quit, or else we'll go more downhill than we already are. Attention everyone, we apologize for the inconvenience, but we are going to pack up and leave now because people are throwing tomatoes at us. We cannot tolerate this. Ha 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 soy 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 rawful 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 rawful. We actually made those pinheads leave. Don't worry, everything's going to be fine. I know it hurts a lot, but trust me, you're perfectly fine. Thanks for your support. It hurts so much, I can't even joke about it. Pops, 
I've got bad news, my gig was a complete flop, everybody booed us, and some people threw tomatoes, it was all because one speaker was acting completely bogus. I'm sorry to hear about that experience, Luna, however, that's probably the least of my worries, Luan is lying down right now because she got injured by something big. Wait a minute, did you say that she got injured by something big? I trusted Lincoln to handle my music equipment. And I seem to remember him retrieving one of my speakers from the backyard. Maybe he can explain this. Lincoln, get down here right now. Yes, what's going on? Remember when I asked you to assist in hauling my music equipment earlier today? What all did you do? Why did you retrieve one of the speakers from the backyard? Well, basically, I was curious to see if I could take a shortcut by getting the speakers out through your window. I got one of them out through the window, but then I heard a loud thud, and I realized that it must be a bad idea. Then I just took out the remaining speakers normally. I retrieved the speaker you were referring to from the backyard because that's where it was. Lincoln, do you realize what that caused? You damaged that speaker by dropping it from a great height. It didn't work, and it just played static. That one speaker was acting totally bogus. All because of you. And that's not all. Everybody booed my band, and some people threw tomatoes at us because we stunk. Hey, that's not all. Earlier today, I got crushed by something big, and it looked like a speaker. It injured me so badly, I had trouble walking. Wait, what the world? I never knew you got injured today. Perhaps that speaker you were talking about was the same one that Lincoln dropped from our bedroom window. The loud thud he was talking about may have been you getting crushed by the speaker. Also, the fact that it crushed you may explain why it got so damaged, it only played static. Oh, 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 oh. Lincoln Marie aloud, how dare you handle one of Luna's speakers irresponsibly, by dropping it out the window. You ultimately crushed Luan and injured her. On top of that, you damaged the speaker so much, it only played static. And it caused Luna's band to get booed and tomatoed. That's it. You're grounded, grounded, grounded for 180 years. And also, you need to pay for a new speaker. Go to your room right now. No, 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 no. Hey, Lincoln Lame. Chandler, stop it. You've got something on your back. I said stop. Your desk has no bolts in it. Chandler. I am trying to pay attention. I told you so. Loud, what's going on back there? Chandler unscrewed all of the bolts from my desk. Again, he is so annoying. I'll try and get it fixed later. For now, you can sit at that other desk in the back. I don't like this one bit, Chandler. You are so annoying. Hey, you made it. You look like you're annoyed. What's wrong? Well, the problem is a certain person with red hair that I don't like to talk about. Wait, are you referring to Chandler? Yes, Chandler has been annoying me all day, and I can't get him out of my head. It's going to be fine. Just try to ignore him, and you'll stop thinking about him. I keep trying, but it doesn't work. Maybe I should eat something to take my mind off this. I'm willing to cough up my peach puree. I'd, I'd like, like to give you my turkey sandwich. sandwich. I'll take Stella's offer, thanks. Hey, watch out. Haha, <laughs> your textbook is now mine. Chandler, please give me back that textbook. You have to catch me first. Come back here right now. Stop being a bully, and give me back the textbook. There, I've finally caught you and you cannot escape. Now, hand over the textbook at once, and stop being a bully and a nuisance. No, I will never stop, Lincoln Lame. Then you leave me with no choice but to beat the heck out of you until you stop. And for the grand finale. Ouch, 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 ouch. Why did you have to set my pants on fire? 
Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. This is the police. I command you to cease at once. Come with me. You're under arrest for aggravated assault. No 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 no. Lincoln, I'd like to have a word with you. Normally, I would be happy to unground you since you stuck up for yourself, but since you went the extra mile and got arrested, no. Oh. Lincoln Murray Loud, how dare you light Chandler's pants on fire and then get arrested for committing aggravated assault. That's it. Once your prison sentence ends, you're grounded 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 for 145 years. As soon as you get out of the Huskow, go to your room immediately. No 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 no. Hello, Lori, there's something I want to talk about. Can you believe it, Whitney? For once, I finally beat Carol in the golf tournament. Dang it, she's talking on the phone again. Just when all hope seemed lost, the wind came out of nowhere and I got an eagle shot. Man, I can't believe this. All that Lori ever wants to do is talk to her friends on the phone, especially Bobby. She is so addicted to that phone, I can't even start a casual conversation with her. It's basically the one thing that separates her from the real world. Wait a minute, I've got an idea. I'll just break her phone whenever it's charging. I can't do this alone. I'll need someone else's help. This time, however, I don't want to use Clyde because of what happened the last time I tried to access Lori's phone. If only I knew the right person for the job. Wait a second, I know, I'll grab birthday boy Blam. Alright, so here's the plan, as soon as Lori leaves that room, we'll enter it. At one point, it had a security system, but it got destroyed in one of Lisa's explosions. Without the security system, nobody will know that we entered. Once we are inside, we'll take her cell phone from the charging station, then we'll break it, understood? There's one part that I don't understand. Why are we breaking her cell phone? We are going to break her cell phone because she is addicted to it. She is so addicted, in fact, she is basically separated from reality. Okay, understood. Now I understand her motives. I think this sound like a great plan. I think I hear her complaining about the dead battery right now. Let's hide behind the door so we don't get spotted. Dang it. Stupid dead battery. I guess maybe I'll try talking to dad. He probably wants to have an interesting discussion about his bang's last gig. Let's get in there fast. There it is, that's Lori's phone. Okay, grab it and we'll both break it to pieces. Wait a second, Lincoln, is that you? Oh no, it's Lenny. Wait a minute, is that Lori's phone? No 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 no. You killed Lori's phone. Let me handle this one. There. You got rid of her, thanks for doing a jump scare. Lenny, why are you standing outside like that? Laurie, thank goodness you're here. I saw Lincoln killing your phone with some expressionless guy. Then, as I left to tell you, the expressionless guy jump scared me. Wait, did you say that Lincoln killed my phone? Let me see for myself. Oh, 
Oh no. He broke it to smithereens. That's it. I'm telling mom and dad. Oh, uh, oh, Lincoln Marie allowed. How dare you break Lori's phone to smithereens. And also how dare you allow your cohort to jump scare Lenny. That's it. You're grounded 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 for 130 years. Go to your room right now. No 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 no. Oh no. I can't find my antique watch anywhere. I need it if I want to pull off the trick tonight. Wait a minute. I know. I'll just buy another one from Wilbur's Watches. I'm sorry, but you cannot enter. Wilbur's Watches is closed today for maintenance. Dang it, I didn't know you were closed. Oh man, this stinks. I can't find my antique watch. And Wilbur's watches is closed for maintenance. How will I ever pull off this trick? Wait a minute, I know. I'll call Lincoln and ask him to retrieve an antique watch for me. Hello, is this the loud residence? Hello, you've reached the loud residence. This is Lisa speaking. May I please speak to Lincoln? There is something I want to discuss with him. Sure thing, I will bring him here right now. Lincoln, please get down here. The phone call is for you. Thanks for telling me that the phone call is for me. I'll start talking now. Hello, who is this? Hello, this is Zach. I want to ask you something. Hey there, so, what do you need? Well, tonight, I'm going to perform an antique watch trick in front of a crowd. I can't find my own, and Wilbur's watches is closed for maintenance today. Can you please grab one? Sure thing. I'll grab an antique watch and bring it to you. I know the perfect way to bring an antique watch to Zack. I'll just sneak up on Benton and steal his watch. Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. Hey, look, I brought an antique watch. I'm... That's not an antique watch. It looks futuristic. Hey, it's got a button on it. Let me see what it does. Wait, what's it doing to my body? Wow, it changed me into an alien. This is so cool. I should probably start studying what exactly the watch does. I'll tell my parents to look at it, too. Hey, give that back. You stole my watch. Before I hand it over. Can you please explain how to change back? Oh, sure. Just press that button again. Okay, here's your watch back. Thanks for returning it. Lincoln, please go find an actual antique watch. Okay, got it. I wonder if Luan maybe has some antique watches. Not so fast, Lincoln. I heard that you stole Ben Ten's watch today. Is this true? Yes, this is true. Don't worry, I gave it back to him. Oh, uh, oh. Lincoln Marie allowed. How dare you steal Ben Ten's watch? That's it. You're grounded 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 for 155 years. This doesn't make any sense. I already give the watch back. Why am I getting grounded? 1. Don't talk back to me. 2. It's because of Go Animate Logic. 3. Go to your room right now. No 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 no. Oh, uh, oh. Lincoln Marie allowed. You have been a very 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 bad boy lately. You're worse than a menace. You're worse than a delinquent. You're a bad hat. Today is punishment day. Punishment 1. Shaving all of the hair off of your head. No 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 no. Punishment 2. Calling your sisters to beat the heck out of you. Girls, 
Get down here, your brother is getting a punishment day, and we would like you to deal him some justice. Take this, twerp. Ouch 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 ouch. Lord, you can stop it now. Lincoln, how could you? Ouch 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 ouch. Lenny, that's quite enough. Take this, the player's gonna play. And the haters gonna hate. Ouch, 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 ouch. Luna, you are way stronger than I thought. It's nice to beat you. Ouch, 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 ouch. Luan, this is worse than the time you hit me with a boxing glove. Here comes the three tonner. Ouch, 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 ouch. Stop it right now. Then, you are too powerful. You are as strong as an elephant. You are going to die today. Ouch, 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 ouch. Lucy, do you realize that you may actually cause permanent damage to my body? This is why I once wrestled a 200 pound alligator. Ouch, 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 ouch. Lana, please think twice before punching me with your filthy hands. I'm getting gross stuff in my mouth. Lincoln, I swear to God. You are so 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 dead meat right now. Ouch 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 ouch. Lola, it actually hurts when you kick me with your high heels. Lincoln, it's time to get back all of that oxygen you stole. Actually, it will be in the form of carbon dioxide, but who cares? We have plans to convert it to oxygen. Ouch 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 ouch. Lisa, I'd rather get caught in one of your explosions than let you beat me up. Poo poo. Ha ha, that can't hurt me, Lily. Plus, all you can do is bite me, which won't hurt me at all. Punishment 3 Lily covering you in diarrhea. <coughs> yuck, 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 yuck. This smells like a garbage dump. Punishment 4 Dropping a toilet on top of you. Ouch, I think you've gone too far. Punishment 5 Flushing you down the toilet. Wait. What? Why? Just why? No 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 Nice try. The toilet wasn't connected to any pipes, so I couldn't have gone to the sewers. Punishment 6. You're grounded 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 for 140 years. Go to your room right now. No 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 no. Kids, come on out. We're taking you to the carnival. I'll beat you to the car. Ha 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 soy 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 ruffle 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 ruffle. I was the first one in the car. Well, since you've all been good lately, I figured we'd take you to the carnival as a treat. But remember, please be on your best behavior, or else you will be grounded. Alright, we're here. Now, just so you don't get separated, we're going to assign some of you to watch over the others. Lori, you will take Lincoln and Lana. Lenny, you will take Lucy and Lily. Luna. You will take Lisa and Lola. Luan, you and Lynn will stay with me and your mom. Got it. Understood. I will watch Lincoln and Lori. Understood. I will watch Lucy and Lily. Understood. I will watch Lola and Lisa. Understood. We will stay with you. All right. Looks like we're all in the clear. Now you can get out and enjoy your time. Hello. Can I interest you in a game of darts? Sure, I'd love to play. Okay, that will be one dollar. Okay, take my money. Alright. I'll step out of the way so you can play. Enjoy. Get ready, I'm about to win.
I'm sorry, but you lose. Ding dang darn it, I have lost this game way too many times, I am so 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 frustrated, grrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
Wait a minute, I recognize that voice. It's the caller. Lincoln, why would you call the fire department? I was really bored today, so I decided to give people prank calls. Giving prank calls to normal people is one thing, but prank calling the fire department is a whole nother level. It is illegal to fool the fire department, so you are under arrest. Oh. Lincoln Marie allowed. How dare you prank call the fire department and then get arrested for it? That's it. Once your prison sentence ends, you're grounded, grounded, grounded for 165 years. As soon as you get out of jail, go to your room immediately. No, 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 no. So remember. Do not ever enter the water if you're bleeding, or else sharps will smell your blood. Okay, that's the bell. Class dismissed. Hey, look out. Hey, Chandler, what's the big idea? Why did you shove me into a locker? It's what you get for setting my pants on fire. Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. You are such a jerk. Oh man, I hate Chandler so much, and I also hate getting shoved into lockers. I may hate Chandler a lot, but he's nothing like Lynn. Girl Jordan, I can't believe you got Rusty suspended. It was my revenge for him causing me to fail. That's no reason to frame him for such a misconduct as throwing a stink bomb at the school dance. To me it is. I'm going to teach you a lesson. What kind of lesson? You and the Action News team already busted me on camera. Just come over here. Fine, whatever you say. Go on, show her what she deserves. I will never forgive that monster for getting me wrongfully suspended. Oh no. It looks like you're winning. Take this, girl Jordan. You really must have learned your lesson by now. Fight. 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 You deserve to get punished at all costs. Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. Lincoln is right. You jitter. Eat that up. Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 Hey, cut it out right this instant. Lincoln, your sister is here. Oh no, I'm busted. Heck yeah you are, stinkin. Why on earth are you beating her up? He was trying to teach me a lesson for framing Rusty and getting him suspended. That does it. That absolutely does it. I need to write you up for assaulting other students. You will have to take it to the principal's office, to- No 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 no. All I wanted to do was deal her some justice. And as for you? No 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 no. Ha 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 soy 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 ruffle 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 ruffle. Oh 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 Lincoln Loud, how dare you beat up girl Jordan? That's it, you have detention for six hours, effective immediately. No 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 Oh 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 Lincoln Marie Loud, how dare you beat up girl Jordan and then get a six hour detention? That's it. You're grounded, grounded, grounded for 170 years. Go to your room right now. No, 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 no. Why did we have to go to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria? Because that's where the twins wanted to go. Don't they know about the animatronics and what they do at night? I don't think it matters. And besides, you got arrested once because you destroyed them. Along with the whole restaurant. Well it doesn't matter right now because it's the daytime, but at night. Lincoln, please stop being a smart aleck. If you complain too much, then you're grounded. Fine.
Hello, and welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. What can I get you? I'll take a medium-sized spinach pizza. I'd like it if you could give me a pizza with a bunch of bugs and worms on it. Maybe even some dirt. Yeah. That sounds gross. Who puts bugs and worms on pizza? Also, why would you want to eat dirt? Not only is it gross, but it's also not edible. You'll get indigestion. I am sure. You can't tell me what I don't like. I'd hate to tell you, but we don't serve pizza with dirt on it. You are the most disgusting person ever. Hey, you take that back. Don't make me rip off your pants. Okay. We'll put dirt on the pizza just because you want to eat something as gross as an airplane floor. I want it because it's organic. Ugh. What about me? What can I get you? I'll take a huge pizza. Please put cookies, pie, brownies, candy, cake, and cupcakes on it. You've really got a sweet tooth. Luckily, we have all of those as pizza toppings, so you can have it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, I've got all your orders. One medium spinach pizza, one large pizza with a lot of sugar on it, and, uh, you, who ordered the very gross pizza, which size did you want? A medium-sized pizza is fine. Okay. A medium-sized pizza with bugs, worms, and dirt on it. We'll serve you soon. Thanks for taking us here. We don't know where else we'd go today. By the way, where is Dad? You could probably just go to Gus's Games and Grub. That's where Lenny likes to go ever since that one dim sum restaurant shut down. Lincoln, stay out of this. Why did you decide to come here? There are animatronics in this restaurant, and you don't know what they do at night. Lincoln, don't argue. If you argue too much, then you'll get grounded. We are serious. Plus, the animatronics can't cause any harm during the daytime, so there's no reason to bring them up. I'm not going to let an albino boy like you ruin our experience. You don't trust me? Then come and see for yourself. Lincoln, stop. I'm warning you. Oh no you don't. Whatever you do, do not take them near any animatronics. Look here, this is Freddy Fazbear, he is an animatronic, he comes out at night, and he scares the security guards out of their skin. That only happens at night, so it shouldn't be a problem. That doesn't mean he's not dangerous, I'm going to prove it to you. He is definitely dangerous, you'll see why in 3, 2, 1. Ha 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 soy 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 raffle 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 raffle. Hey, stop right there. You're the same guy who bombed this restaurant a while ago. Now you just murdered two very young children. I'm going to call the police. Hello? This is the security guard at Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Two children who looked like they were twins just got murdered. I caught the crook red-handed, and it's the exact same guy who recently bombed this restaurant. The crook is Lincoln Loud. He shoved the two children into Fredba's mouth, and then the animatronic bear bit down and killed them. Get real comfortable in there, Loud. By the way, you have some visitors. Oh, uh, oh, 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 Lincoln Murray Loud, how dare you disobey us? Shove your twin sisters into Freddy Fazbear's mouth, let him kill them both, and get arrested for it. That's it. Once your prison sentence ends, you're grounded, grounded, grounded for 185 years. As soon as you get out of jail, go to your room immediately. No, 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 no. For some reason, I feel like today is a big day. Why do I feel this way? Though, I don't have any plans for today. I think maybe the reason why today is a big day has nothing to do with me. It's probably a big day for someone else. I don't even have any schemes planned for today. For some reason, I don't feel like causing trouble at all. I just feel 
Normal. I feel normal on a day that doesn't seem to be normal. I wonder what's happening today. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, Lynn, honey, I feel like today is a big day. I feel that way too. But why? We must be forgetting something. I know that something important is happening today, but what is it? I think maybe I'll look at our calendar. It has all of the important dates on it. Okay, let's look here. Oh my goodness. Rita, I know what today is, and it is definitely important. What is today? Please tell me. Today is the twins' birthday. Oh my goodness. We haven't picked a location for their party. Don't panic. We'll think about it and find a good place to throw one together in the limited time we have. Laurie. Do you remember what today is? I forgot. Please tell me, Lenny. Today is Lana and Lola's birthday. I forgot to get party supplies. Oh my goodness. I literally forgot that was today. We need to get some fast. Luan, do you remember what today is? Oh no, is today my comedy gig? I totally forgot. No, it's not that, it's something else. Oh wait, now I remember. Today is somebody's birthday. I remember that I got a call yesterday. Somebody wants me to perform for their birthday. It's not just anybody's birthday, it's the twins' birthday. Oh my goodness. I forgot about that. I don't want to ruin the reputation of Funny Business Inc. But Lana and Lola are my sisters, and I can't not be around for them. I'll go ahead and call the client. Hey, I feel like something important is happening today. What could it be? I know I had a reminder somewhere. Let me find it. There it is. It says that today is. What is today? Come on, Lucy. Just say it. Today is Lana and Lola's birthday. I think we both forgot. Oh my goodness. You're right. We both completely forgot about this. Lily, wake up. Do you know what today is? Huh? Poo poo. No, you silly. It's the twins' anniversary of coming into existence. Street name birthday and get this i'm busy mixing chemicals to create lana and lola's respective favorite smells yay go weeza lola wake up today is a birthday wait it is yay 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 i know it can't you believe it this is finally happening did you remember to plan us a party what I thought that was your job this year. Oh no, we both forgot to discuss it. Let's talk to mom and dad. Maybe there are backups. I suppose you're probably right. We can talk to them and see what they have planned. You know, nothing is better than floppies. I'm glad we came here, Clyde. <coughs> Hang on, someone is trying to call me. Hello, who is this? Lincoln, this is Laurie. Where have you been all morning? Nobody has seen you for the past 10 minutes. Oh, it's not a big deal. I'm at Flip's Food and Fuel. I just came to get Flippies with Clyde. Haven't you forgotten something? What are you talking about? Today is Lana and Lola's birthday. Why are you spending the whole day with Clyde? You're supposed to be helping us set up the twins' birthday party. Dang it. I completely forgot. I'll leave soon, and I'll be right there, Clyde. I have to leave. It's the twins' birthday, and I completely forgot about it. It's not a total loss. We're at Flip's Food and Fuel, so you could probably buy them some presents here. Clyde, you're brilliant. I'll do exactly that.
Hey, Flip, I need you to show me two things. Sure, old Flip's proud to help you, Chief. Okay, has everybody given their gifts yet? Because then, we can eat the cake. Me, I haven't given my gifts yet. Mind if I go ahead right now? Go ahead, Lincoln. We won't stop you. Lana, this is a scented candle. It smells like a swamp. Thanks a bunch. It smells perfect for me. And Lola, here is your gift. Lincoln, what is this? Coal. Why would you give me coal for my birthday? There's actually a very good reason for that. For as long as I can remember, I have been causing a lot of trouble. I've been grounded so many times. I've gotten arrested a few times. I've even gotten punishment days. I've been abused and tortured so many times, and it all feels very excessive. I don't deserve this excessive maltreatment. In fact, I'm not who you think I am. I don't care about how I am portrayed in Arminus Motu's videos. The canonical version of me is a really nice guy, and not just that, an average person. The real troublemaker is Lola. She is a huge tattletale that we don't allow to hear secrets. She is a spoiled brat who threatens us all the time. This type of behavior is wrong. She is the one who deserves those treatments that I have been getting. Her behavior is unacceptable, so it is only logical. And I was wondering, if Santa Claus gives coal to bad children on Christmas, then what if I could do the same thing? That is the reason why I would give Lola coal for her birthday. Have I made myself clear? Lincoln, there is something that I have to say about that. Everything that you just said is correct. Lola, we're going home right now. Please come with us. Oh, 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 oh. Lola Marie Loud, your older brother was telling the truth with everything he said. Your behavior is so unacceptable, it's time for you to get a punishment day. Why is this happening on my birthday? That doesn't matter. You deserve this. Punishment 1, tying you up in a sack. No 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 no. Why? Just why? Lori, get down here and finish the job. Lori, please don't. If you won't shut up, then I'll help you. I'm not done yet. I'll add an extra layer, and that's going to keep you quiet. Here comes the final layer. I will gag you so hard, you will never be able to say anything intelligible again. That should keep you quiet enough to listen. Mm, mm. What did you say? Oh, right. You can't talk because you were gagged by three layers. Now I'm sure you can be trusted to keep quiet and listen. Punishment 2, confiscating all of your birthday presents, except for the coal that you got from Lincoln. Mm. Too bad, you got coal for a reason, so there's no turning back. Punishment 3, stomping on top of your birthday cake, but not the parts that your twin sister wants to eat, that would be overkill. Punishment 4, removing you from all of your upcoming pageants. Punishment 5, moving you into the basement. Punishment 6, getting Lisa to continue in a force field. Lisa, get down here. Lola is getting a punishment day, and she must be contained in a force field. Here, have fun trying to escape this. Punishment 
7, your grounded ground are grounded for 555 trillion 555 billion 555 million 555 thousand 555 years. You must stay exactly the way you are during that time. You are really near, in the basement, in that force field, tied up in that sack, and ganked by those three layers. Go, Go to, to bed right, right now, now, and don't, and don't wake up. Hey, hi, 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 soy, 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 raffle, 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 raffle. Ha, 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 soy, 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 raffle, 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 raffle. Ha, 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 soy, 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 raffle, 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 raffle. Lincoln Albert Loud, you're ungrounded. Go have some fun with Clyde. Yes, 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 yes.